It's good. Basically what this is about, it's a nutrition unit that we're teaching and it's all about healthy eating and choices. We've been working with Canada's Food Guide and just so that the students understand that Canada's Food Guide doesn't restrict you from different foods. What it does is it explains moderation, explains how you, know, you can eat healthy in moderation and that's what I wanted to get through to the students, that moderation, everything in moderation and that's very, very important. So what they did is they created boards, project boards, where they took an unhealthy high calorie, high fat recipe and they altered it so that it would be healthy and it would there was a lot of nutritional components as a part of as a part of the uh, recipe. Um, they create they created the recipe and they also created the food and they wanted to let the whole student body know all the healthy um, alternatives that are out there. And we invited Miss Karen Field, Mrs. Karen Field from the health unit. She is a registered nurse and she was kind enough to come in and have a booth and explain all the healthy alternatives and wonderful things. So take yeah, it from there. So, so thank you. So as the nurse for the working at the health unit and also the nurse for the school, it's really important to support a school when they're encouraging kids to make healthier choices. So what I did is brought some visuals for them to see. Um, kids can be really actually, everyone can be pretty unaware of the amount of fat and sugar that's in common foods. And uh, what we try to encourage kids to do is pack their lunch, make a healthy, health, healthy lunch or a healthy meal at home, bring their lunch, bring leftovers, uh, and watch the amount of fat and sugar. And it was surprising to see um, the looks on the kids' faces when they actually saw the amount of sugar that they were consuming in any given day. So combining the visual of that with healthy recipes and then encouraging an active lifestyle on top as we were talking Absolutely. about the kids uh, benefits their health and child. We also have another community partner that we're working with, Forgotten Harvest, and they supply us with all fresh vegetables from the uh, local farmers, greenhouses, and we, we teach the students to utilize local produce. And we had a booth here that allowed the students to take home tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, anything that we actually get from Forgotten Harvest. Um, it's a great opportunity for students to see what our local, like Essex County, has to offer. And I think the nice part about that too is they bring those things home and then they talk about the wonderful recipes that they made at school and then they're kind of encouraging their parents. So sometimes the parents need a little push to start looking at some healthier choices as well. Yes, I think uh, this was a total success. It showed students that, you know, by a few ingredients, using a few ingredients, you can create a beautiful dish. Mm -hmm. I heard a lot of really interesting comments as the kids were kind of going through the booths. They were loving the black bean brownies. Black and bean and brownies <laughs> out of this world. Yeah, out of this saying, world. It doesn't even taste like beans. And I know when we were looking at some of the sugar content of food, especially chocolate milk, which is a big hit at the school, they were really surprised and saw that if they cut their portion size in half, they're cutting their sugar in half. So I think so. I heard talk about it. Um, so hopefully. Going back to Canada's Food Guide, we really want to encourage uh, students to eat a variety of foods and not to restrict themselves. Absolutely. So just eating a variety of healthy, colorful food.
focus. And the reason why we did this is that we want to teach not only healthy eating, but a healthier lifestyle. And as I teach my students, it's not about dieting, because dieting isn't the answer to anything. What we're, we're focusing on is Canada's food gut. Okay, this is what this is what we should be doing for life. All right, so we should just be having a variety of things for Canada's food. So you need your carbohydrates, you need your grains, of course, you need your proteins, you need your milk and your dairy. All right, you need a whole bunch of things in, in order to have your body work the way you need it to work. All right, so I always tell my students, not a diet. Diets don't work, and that's why it's a multi-billion dollar industry. All right. A healthy lifestyle, incorporating exercise. And I'm not saying just join a gym or anything like that. Just exercise, walking, just moving around. All right. So it's really important that we focus, like we bring our focus to a healthy lifestyle. So a little bit of exercise, a little bit of pizza, a little bit of everything. All right. So that's really what our focus is. It's just to bring attention to healthy eating and making the right choices. And I always tell my students. You know, in Canada's food guide, it doesn't say, do not eat a piece of chocolate, do not eat chips. It doesn't say that anywhere here. It says, eat things in moderation. And I think that's something that we really need to focus on and we need to tell our, our children, focus on moderation. Try a variety of things. I had my students who, my 33, a couple days ago, have never tried avocados. Never tried avocados. Didn't even know what an avocado was. Have to up and make guacamole, and they loved it. Or tofu. I used to tofu, and we marinated it, and I barbecued it, and I told them it was chicken first, I think. But then they had it. So it's goodness, but it's got a little different texture because it's not chicken. It's tofu. But you know what? Introducing new things into your diet, even when you're cooking at home, just bringing the little things in a little bit at a time. We all created this thing we didn't create it, but we we. Uh, made these black bean brownies. Go figure. Beans and brownies. They go great together. You never know. Okay, so we try to sneak in vegetables and things into, you know, our diets and stuff. So anyway, well thank you for listening to this portion.